surrounding an NFL star getting stranger. New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez, Hernandez at the center of a homicide investigation. That is after a semi-pro football player was found dead near Hernandez's home. And today, the media hot on Hernandez's trail as he drove to the Patriots football stadium. Then, when he stopped at a gas station, reporters swarmed Hernandez. Can we just ask you about the situation? Aaron, do you have any involvement in the rest of the Can you just tell us, Aaron? Can you just tell us anything? Are you involved in the murder? Are you involved in the murder at all? Can you tell us anything you want to say? What happened on Monday night? Can you just tell us what happened on Monday night? Can you be arrested? Can you just tell us what happened on Monday night? Can you tell us what happened on Monday night? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Can you just tell us what happened on Monday night? Also today, the mother of the homicide victim, Odin Lloyd, speaking to reporters. First and foremost, I would like to thank the person that for my son. I would like to say, God put him in the right place at the right time. So he can spot my son's body. And my son is a wonderful child. He's a family guy. He has not done anything to hurt anyone. And all I'm saying to you guys is to please let me grieve my child in peace. I don't have nothing else to say. Boston Globe NFL reporter Ben Volan is here with the latest on the investigation. Ben, good evening. And tell me, um, what is the latest in this investigation? And is there any evidence to tie Mr. Hernandez with this homicide? You know what, Greta, there is actually, um, while I guess the drama of the day was uh, Aaron Hernandez and, and the video of, the, of his car driving away, uh, the footage via helicopter, uh, the real interesting thing to emerge today was police have found a video uh, that shows Aaron and the victim together mo early Monday morning after a night of going out. Uh, and that's important because police estimate that the victim was murdered uh, between 1 and 6 a.m. on Monday morning. And now they have this video that kind of puts Aaron Hernandez together with the victim around early Monday morning, like I said, after a night of going out. So there's not too much of a window now for this victim to have uh, met many other people and uh, for his homicide to have taken place obviously there are also other reports where uh, there were four gentlemen seen in the car in including Aaron Hernandez and the victim and only three were seen coming home uh, there are also reports today that Aaron Hernandez smashed his cell phone and, and destroyed his video surveillance tapes of his security system at his home before handing it, things over to police um, so, you know, again, the police have not uh, officially listed Hernandez as a suspect, but all the arrows are starting to point in his direction, and, it, and it's uh, not a good sign for the Patriots' star tight end. When you say that there's a video, um, you know, what, do you have any information of what the, where the video's from or uh, what's in the video? Is it just sort of like a club video, or is there, or is there something much more sort of incriminating closer to the time of the, of the murder? Details are still sketchy at this point, but uh, I believe the video was the two were up here in Dorchester, which is closer to, Mass to, to Boston, um, as opposed to Aaron's home uh, closer down near the Rhode Island border and also where, where the uh, homicide took place. So I believe the video puts them together in a night out in Boston. The video uh, images emerged of them together Monday morning. So uh, Aaron Hernandez was with the victim right before he was killed, more or less. Um, and uh, officials also say that the victim uh, was actually killed in the industrial park where he was found. Um, we're describing it his bullet-ridden body was found in the industrial park. And uh, police have spent the last two days just scouring the industrial park, looking for shell casings and any other clues uh, that can tie maybe a, a murder weapon to the incident and, and to any of the uh, official suspects. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I read that it was execution style, so it is it's not just a single bullet to the back of the head, is that you say that there was multiple wounds? Uh, we're, we're writing in tomorrow's Boston Globe that he had, his bullet-ridden body was uh, found in the industrial park. So to me, that implies certainly more than, than one gunshot. Uh, I've also heard the, the one gun, gunshot to the head. Of course, details uh, are a little sketchy right now. It's all from unnamed police sources. Uh, the police officially is being very quiet about this. Uh, so it's hard to, to kind of sort through the facts and figure out what's uh, true and, and what's just rumor at this point. But we do know that uh, the, the victim was killed at this industrial park about a mile away from Hernandez's home. Uh, it happened Monday morning. And Hernandez, there's now video showing Hernandez with the victim uh, early Monday morning. One quick question. Is he cooperating with the police or not? 
Actually, he's not. We're reporting in the Boston Globe that for the past two days, Hernandez has not been cooperating. Like I said, he smashed his cell phone and is uh, destroying his uh, surveillance tapes from his home uh, security system. Also, there are reports that he brought in a cleaning crew to his house on, on Monday during the day. Uh, and he's not he's doing everything he needs to do within the letter of the law, but he's not officially cooperating with the investigation as of now. Ben, thank you. And we'll look forward to seeing uh, the Globe's report tomorrow. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. All right, let's bring in our legal panel, defense lawyers Bernie Grimm and Ted Williams. And, of course, um, actually, Ben is going to stick around with us. Um, let me ask you first, um, Ted, um, your thoughts. Well, uh, yeah. very suspicious activity. I mean, uh, we know that the timeline yes, is very significant and important in this case. And they were together from Friday to Monday. And, and I was asking Bernie earlier, was there any nexus between uh, Saturday to Monday when the body was found? And from what I understand, that they were also together, according to the reporter here. And when you look at the suspicious activity of destroying a camera or, or having a cleaning crew to come in that morning, destroying the security system. That's suspicious activity. But I must say that he's smart in, in shutting up and not saying anything at this stage. Bernie? The only reason he stopped perhaps obstructionist conduct is the lawyer said, sit still, stop talking and don't do anything. Greta, look at this for an opening statement. Knew the victim, seen with the victim Friday all the way through to Sunday going into Monday. He has three rental cars. One's found on the scene, one's dropped off in a hurry, and then one was seen leaving his home and got pinned in by the police. As Ted said, security system, cell phone, um, cleaning crew. I mean, this guy likes to live on the edge, not to mention we haven't even got into all this other gunplay that he's alleged to be involved well, let's, in. Let's ask Ben that. Ben, there's also a civil suit, isn't there, um, involving a, another matter which is totally unrelated to this? There's actually two other incidents uh, unrelated to this with guns that Hernandez is uh, kind of tied to. Uh, absolutely, there's been a, a new lawsuit filed uh, down in South Florida. Uh, a man alleges that uh, Aaron Hernandez either purposely or negligently fired a firearm that struck the man in the face and shattered his eye and, and has permanently disfigured him and, and uh, ruined his vision. Uh, he's, he's suing Hernandez for $100,000, also alleging that Hernandez did not have a license for the gun, which could be another headache for him. And back when he was a freshman at the University of Florida in 2007, he was questioned in relation to another shooting. No charges were ever filed. Um, he, nothing ever came of it for Hernandez, but clearly a pattern is emerging of him hanging out with the wrong people and having a lot of gun incidents. Panel, if you all just stay with us, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up.